Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. Who says Barbie stuff still doesn't sell on eBay? Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, another pretty good weekend last weekend on eBay. So I uh, look quite a few going out today. I think 14 orders, not a ton of orders, but it's uh, somewhere over $500. So I'm super happy about the total for sure so quite a few orders to pull and we'll get started on those in just a second but i do want to give a few people a special shout out we had someone else sign up for the channel membership the shelf supporter membership and it is go underscore getters and that's all i know about this person because they didn't leave me a comment about what to put on their shelf or anything so all I have to go by is what they signed up for under their YouTube name. So I'm assuming, I don't know if they're YouTuber or if that's their eBay store or what, but that's all I have to go by. So thank you so much. Go getters. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your name is and if this is your eBay store. I know it's your YouTube channel, but I don't know if you make content or not, but let me know in the comments of a video. But I sure do appreciate you signing up. Also, our good friend Mike over at Death Pile Picker sent me a few stickers, and he has some of the best looking stickers on the on the old YouTube. So appreciate it, Mike. Death Pile Picker, and it's the Grim Reaper going through the Mario World. Player one buy stuff, and player two let it sit. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then they sent me another sticker as well. So I appreciate that, Mike. And also, we got a card from our good friend Kathy for St. Patty's Day. And I know I'm reading this a week late or something like that, but it got here before St. Patty's Day. So thank you very much, Kathy. And she, of course, made this card. Very nice, very nice work, Kathy. Uh, it would take me months to make something like that. I couldn't even think of something like that. <laughs> I send a card to all my children for each of the major holidays. I'm now including you in this tradition. If you ask me where your Earth Day card is, I'll know we're really family, Kathy. So I don't even know when Earth Day is, but I do know when St. Patty's Day is, and you sent me this card for it. And I appreciate it. Kathy is family at this point for sure so i thank you very much kathy and uh she has done so much for me and uh you guys if you're new to the channel you'll see what i'm talking about in just a minute because we got several items that kathy has sent me going out today so thank you again kathy and then also we'll pull start pulling orders in just a minute we'll pull a few orders and then we'll talk about our topic but also one other shout out i got a comment on one of my videos lately and it said and it's from our good friend Janie and I love reading my comments in my videos I read everyone I don't respond to everyone uh, I just can't I don't have enough hours in the day at this point but I always read them give them a thumbs up and give them a heart every every comment that I've ever received to my knowledge I have read so I may have missed some accidentally but anyways Janie wrote glad it warmed up some when we were when we were there Wednesday, she comes to my town for her granddaughter, I believe, plays basketball here locally from time to time. But she said, Thanks for the shout out last week on my shelf. Please tell everyone that Grandmama's Vintage Treasures is the name of my eBay store. I only have twenty six followers and I would love to get to fifty or maybe even a hundred. Thanks for the great content. You are our Tennessee superstar. So I don't know about that, Janie, but I sure do appreciate it. And uh, we're going to do you one better. We're going to try to send you, yeah, at least, uh, well, right here it says she has 27 followers now currently. So everyone go check out. This is her eBay store, Grandmama's Vintage Treasures. That is Janie and her husband right there. So I appreciate it. She sold 571 items already. So good job, Janie. Don't think she's been doing eBay for too awful long, so that's very good, Janie. You guys can see some of the type of items she likes to sell. I see some Tupperware lids and some pots and pans and dolls. Oh, you got Barbies, which is what we're going to talk about in the video today. 
So a lot of stuff and a big mixture of different items in your store. I've actually had that Kentucky Woods bourbon barrel cake, uh, wooden cake container, whatever you want to call it. I actually had that exact one and sold it quite a few, uh, a couple of years ago, I guess it was. But pretty awesome. A lot of different type items. So everybody go check out her store. Grandmama's Vintage Treasures. And I will leave a link for it in the description below. But if you just type in, go to the eBay search and type in Grandmama's Vintage Treasures, it will come down to uh, search in stores. Just click that and it'll bring you right to it. But it will be linked below. So thank you very much, Janie. I sure do appreciate it. And Janie, of course, is a channel member as well. So thank you very much, Janie. I appreciate you. All right, so we'll go, go ahead and get started pulling orders. We have 14 orders going out for 500 and almost $31. So good amount. I'm happy with that. Uh, sales are they're steady right now, for sure. They're not great, but they're not bad either. I, I will take a $530 weekend uh in the middle of march i'll take that all right first order going out it's kathy time and kathy the same one that sent me the saint patty's cards sent me all this stuff all of that stuff besides the video games and uh i got more stuff too <laughs> uh but she's i sold one of these 12 by 12 paper and it may take just a second to find it all right took me a second but i found it it's birthday bonanza designer series paper uh what are those two two cans is that what those are probably should have put two can in the uh title and i didn't i think that's what those are anyways birthday bonanza 12 sheets right 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper this one sold for 17.99 plus shipping so thank you very much kathy and someone asked me how I ship these, and I use I use these uh, 12 by 12 by whatever, 12 by 12 record mailers to ship them, and it works absolutely perfect. And uh, I, these are, you know, the record mailers, but those are so handy for so many other things. I, list, I ship a lot of books in those as well. The link for those is down below. It's in my reseller supply shop store, reseller supply store, OSP's reseller supply store, Amazon link. So go check it out. It's linked down below. I love those, but thank you very much, Kathy. Having the right boxes makes shipping a hundred times easier. Those are not the cheapest things in the world. I think they're like 75 cents a piece, but the time they save is worth it to me. All right, next item is one of these things down here. I think it's the one on the bottom, I think. Uh, let's see, it's one of these cassette decks. I think it's the... Yeah, it's the cassette deck. It's the one on top. Now, this was not the greatest buy I've ever bought, for sure. I bought this piece, the cassette deck, the auto-tuner, and two other pieces at an estate sale it's not on a sponsored shelf by the way so we're going to talk about nougat picker everyone go check them out but when i seen these i was like there's no way they work they're in pretty rough condition i looked them up they was not the most desirable ones on the market for sure but i asked her how much she wanted for all four pieces and she said five bucks so of course i had to buy them five bucks for all four you know basically a dollar a piece right so i had to buy them brought this one home it does power up but uh the tape decks do not work i'm sure it could be fixed for sure i'm sure it can it's probably just the belts in them that are broke but it is the sony dual deck stereo cassette deck tc w5 so i sold it for parts only and parts only it sold for 19.99 plus shipping now the shipping is pretty expensive on it it's very heavy so it is uh it was a 61.84 total sale but like i said i paid like a dollar a piece for them i could i i, I figured they didn't work i would have been shocked if they did because they were rough i cleaned them up quite a bit and uh so you know 20 bucks i couldn't pass it up 
So don't be scared of electronics. If you get them cheap enough, it don't matter if they work or not because they'll sell for parts only. It's Kathy time again. And it's some more of this 12 by 12 paper. I'll go a few weeks without selling it. And then I think it's that one actually. Then I'll sell two or three in a row. So it's really weird with this paper. And this one is in good taste. And the name of this one is in good taste and it's wood paneling like barnwood so very nice 12 by 12 this one is 24 sheets however yes 24 sheets of 12 by 12 paper this one sold for 19.99 plus shipping so thank you again kathy and yes this one once again will go ship out in one of those record mailers so makes it easy thank you again kathy all right, next item, one of my favorite things to sell, and it's on our good friend's R&B Flipper shelf. So thank you guys very much. I sure do appreciate it. I believe that is their eBay store, and it's a hat. And this hat I have had for quite a while, honestly. I think it's that one. It's a Desert Storm hat with like an aircraft carrier on it. Now, most of these hats like this, it will have the name of the ship on it but this was kind of like a generic one but it is old and it is vintage that's made in taiwan from and it's got a speedway tag on it but i just love selling hats foam mesh rope it's got the small rope on it i did take a best offer on this one i've had this thing forever have no idea where it came from it came in a huge lot of other hats i am sure and it sold for 6.79 plus shipping all right the next order going out is a multi-quantity order and it's kathy time again and i think after this order we only have one more from kathy going out so we'll go ahead and get this order let's see i think it's maybe that one yes that is the first item going out then we got two more let's see yeah that's the next one right there i believe and then we have one of these stamping up paper punches going out I'm looking for number 11 i think and of course it's the last one i looked at so i think that right there is the order i believe let's go check it out so once again, thank you very much, Kathy. I sure do appreciate it. But also, thank you very much. That's right. It's viewer sale. Thank you very much, Donna. I sure do appreciate it. Donna's bought a lot of stuff from me. So thank you very much, Donna. I appreciate you. Uh, this The first item going out is Kaiser Craft Embossing Folder Large Flower. And that's probably going to be hard for you guys to see, but it's a embossing folder of a flower. Kind of looks like that on the back. So pretty cool. This one sold for $4.99 plus shipping. The next item is some photopolymer clear stamps from Lime Fawn. It is a parrot and it is happy birthday. Apparently, apparently it's your birthday. So that's very cool. This one sold for $3.99 plus shipping. And then last but not least, stamping up large evergreen, evergreen pine tree punch. Let's see, you guys can see it right there, maybe. And this was a pretty good one, as so for $24.99 plus shipping. So thank you very much, Kathy, for sending me all this stuff. Of course, I appreciate you so much. But also thank you, Donna, for the purchase. Uh, it was a total order of $33.97 plus shipping. And, of course, I will ship it all together and send you a shipping refund. So, thank you very much, Donna. I sure do appreciate it. You can kind of see the pine tree a little better. So, hope you enjoy this stuff. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you, Donna. All right. I hear people talking all the time about Barbie stuff. I see people posting pictures on these Facebook groups, these reselling Facebook groups, about these big Barbie buys. You guys remember, I bought a huge Barbie collection last summer and done quite well with it. I showed that video where I bought the stuff and I had a few comments, quite a few comments that said, you know, it was a bad buy. I've done really well with it. And I have slowly picked up a few more Barbies and Barbie items lately. 
you know, just one or two pieces here and there when I see them at thrift stores or state sales or whatever. I've got three different items going out today and they're all three pretty decent. And the first one going out is an A7. And my point of all this is Barbie stuff still sells. I know a lot of people that just will pass it up. And well, I don't. I, you know, I bought those Barbie houses right there at an estate sale and I've got those listed for quite a bit of money. Now, I don't know, I may have them listed too high, I'm not sure. But at that same estate sale, I found this Barbie, 1973 Barbie house, orange tables and chairs. And this is a very nice set. It was sitting right beside those houses. I sold those houses by their self. I don't know if this stuff actually went with it or not. But uh, I just uh, sold it by itself. Um, I felt like I could maximize my profit. I paid like 10 bucks a piece for those houses. Yeah, I think, I think it may have been less than that, actually. And this table and chair set was like five bucks. I could not pass it up. It was in absolutely terrific condition. Terrific condition. It's a 1973 Barbie house, orange dining room, kitchen table, and chairs. Five piece lot. Four chairs and the table. Uh, I think it was like seven fifty, but it was twenty five percent off day. So whatever that is, you know, five six bucks, whatever. But I ended up selling that, and I've not had it long, not had it listed long at all. I sold it for full price of thirty nine. 99 plus shipping so if you get the right barbie stuff and i'm going to show you two more that sold here in just a little bit if uh, you get the right stuff it will still sell and the table and chair set was on our good friend becky smith's shelf so becky i sure do appreciate you so much all right the next barbie item i have going out now i have had this for a little while i'm not gonna lie but you know sometimes Sometimes you have to set on items just a little bit till you find the right buyer, right? And it's this Barbie Ferrari in the box. This thing is awesome. Now the Ferrari is not brand new. It's not, and it is missing a few pieces, but it is the white version, which is a little more rare, I believe. Vintage Mattel Barbie Ferrari vehicle, fastback style car, 1986 white with box, uh, number 3564. This actually came from the huge action figure lot. Uh, I'll link it and the Barbie videos above. And um, this came from the action figure lot. You know, the guy had a sister. So I bought her stuff too, right? And it had quite a bit of Barbie stuff in it. And well, this was one of them. Uh, the box being in just such terrific shape makes this thing worth it to me. I sold it for $44.99 plus shipping. I don't really know. I would have really had about... 50 cents in this because I spent $300 at that sale and it was way over 600 listings. I still don't even have all the stuff listed from that sale. So less than 50 cents if you want to break it down into that. Uh, so $44.99 plus shipping. Barbie still sales. And you can't talk about Barbie without talking about a Barbie doll. And this is on our good friend Fast Talking Flipper over on YouTube. Everybody go check out his YouTube channel. He just got moved in to his new shed and has a very nice workspace. I love watching videos about people's workspaces. But this is a Barbie doll, loose Barbie doll, not in the box. And I don't, if the boxes, well, I found this one, it didn't have the box. But if you do find Barbies that are in the boxes, and a lot of times the boxes are just in horrible condition, don't be scared to take them out of the box, take all their accessories and list them in that condition, uh, brand new condition. I would list them as excellent condition, not brand new because it don't have the box. But take the box, take them out of the box, throw the box away because you can still sell them that way because the shipping on yours will be so much cheaper because you're not shipping that big bulky Barbie box, right? But this uh, this doll was pretty awesome. She is 1986 Fun Time Barbie with her hot watch and hot pink uh, Mattel with watch and brush. So, the Barbie, she has her shoes, she has her outfit, she has some huge earrings on. 
um, but it also come with the watch. Now I did test the watch or maybe I didn't test the watch because I didn't have a battery, but I'm, I'd be 90% sure that watch did not work and also a little hairbrush, but you know, I sewed it as a lot, Barbie watch and brush and it sold for 14 bucks plus shipping. So a good deal. And that came out of a huge Barbie lot. I think it may have came from the same place as the Barbie Ferrari. So if it did, I had around less than 50 cents in her as well. So Barbie still sells. Keep your eyes out for it. Know what you're buying and look for the vintage stuff, the 80s stuff, the early 90s stuff. Look for stuff that not just the holiday Barbies, you know, although I bought a bunch of those last year and done fairly decent with them. Uh, look for this older Barbie stuff. It still sells. Don't be scared of it. And uh, I love selling it. All right. Uh, I sell, you know, mostly boys stuff. Uh, it, I feel like, um, of course, I look for that stuff more. I'm a boy. I'm, I know more about the vintage boy stuff. You know, I grew up playing with a lot of it. But in this video, we got quite a bit of vintage girl stuff going out, including this Care Bear uh, plush pen. Had this thing forever, and it finally sold. It's not on a sponsored shelf, but we'll talk about Mars Bargain Basement. Go check out their eBay store. I sure would appreciate it. But this came from the storage unit uh, sale that was everything was a dollar. If it was new in package and it looked old, I was buying it. I bought so much good stuff at that sale. Now this one is not extremely old. It's not from my era. It's from 2005. But you got to realize in just a couple more years, 2005 is going to be vintage. That's hard to believe. I know. But anyways, it sold for $8.99 plus shipping and it's fun fun shine fun shine bear so pretty awesome i love this dollar into 8.99 plus shipping all right i love this next sale oh, i love this this is a good sale it's on c21 and it is one of these and it might be that one maybe it's one of these tractor manuals no i think it's gonna be the green one page garden tractors i believe that's it it's not on a sponsored shelf but we will talk about our good friends over at crider collectibles everyone go check them out on ebay crider collectibles type it in on the ebay search and hit that heart beside their name and you'll save the seller and you know what it's the wrong manual so let's fix that real quick new case 300 is the one going out i bought a huge box of these uh tractor they're not really manuals they're more brochures uh at the 127 yard sale this past year and honestly it might have ended up being one of the best things i found i didn't think too much about it i knew it was good but i didn't think it was going to be this good and they was probably 20 brochures in this box i paid 10 bucks i believe or maybe 15 10 or 15 and have sold several of them now they are slower but i probably sold I, I probably sold two thirds of them. I, I don't think I have but two or three left, honestly. And but once they sell, they're really, really good money. New case 300, and it's just a brochure. It's got a lot of pictures and artwork and stuff in it. And I think it's from like the 40s. I think. Mm, pretty awesome. I wish it had the dates on it. I'm sure if I investigated it long enough, I could have found the date, but I didn't. But anyways, this one sold for $42 plus shipping. And once again, this will go in one of those record mailers. I'm telling you guys, you can ship so much. They're great for they're great for records, but I ship a lot of books and a lot of this type of stuff in them. $42 bucks plus shipping, and it's an international sale as well. So total order on that was $69.30. Wow. All right, next item going out, H6. And it's another one of these Jimmy Swagger audio cassette tapes. I love selling these. I don't have many left. And it's the flesh and the spirit. And it's on our, it's not on a shelf, but we will talk about our good friend Armando Perez. I sure do appreciate you, Armando. Thank you so much for your support. 
the flesh and the spirit a six tape teaching series on romans chapter seven and this stuff sells so good uh this one was not in the greatest condition it does the tapes do have just i mean there was a few of these that had some pretty heavy mold on them i threw them away i just tossed them i just garbage this one had just a very 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 little I can't imagine it bothering it. And I did put it in the description. I mean, it was super light. I almost didn't even mention it. So that's how light it was. If it was heavy, I just threw them in the way. Threw them in the garbage. But anyways, this one did sell for $11.99 plus shipping. All right, next item going out. H5. H5, where you at? And let's see, I think it's going to be this big set right here, which is good because it takes up a lot of room on the shelf. We'll talk about our good friends over at Luke's Place. And that, of course, is our good friend Heather. So thank you so much, Heather. I sure do appreciate you. I believe that is the name of her eBay store. So everybody go check out Luke's Place. Pull up a seat and stay a while, right? Love that name. Anyways, this is a lot of tin. I bought these... I think at a thrift store, I believe, and they were a quarter a piece. I knew they would not be worth much, but there's 10 of them, so I would have had 250 in them. Bought them up, put them out there for sale, did set on them for a little while. I think I did end up taking the best offer on them, but I turned $2.50 into $25 plus shipping, so not bad. All right, I said I had three barbie items going out but i just realized i actually have four barbie items going out and this is on our good friends over at resale cmy go check out their youtube channel you want to talk about people that's absolutely crushing it on ebay these guys right here so thank you very much ryan and paul everybody go check out their youtube channel and this came from the exact same place uh the exact same estate sale as the barbie houses and the Barbie dining room table and chairs that I just showed you guys. But anyways, it is a vintage Barbie country living sofa couch and end table. I think this set right here was also at the estate sale separately. Selling it separately. And I think it was $7.50 as well for 25% off. Now this one was not as good, but still yet. I sold it for $19.99. Plus shipping, I'm telling you guys, keep your eyes out for vintage Barbie, not just the dolls, the accessories they sell. And I don't know that they always sell for more money, but it seems to, there's not as much of it out there. So it's a lot less competition than the old normal holiday Barbies that you kind of see everywhere, right? I love selling anything vintage, anything vintage toys, and I will sell vintage Barbie stuff. Love it. I take that back. I paid three dollars, twenty-five percent off for this set, so I done fairly decent with it. So I would have had two dollars and a quarter in it, right? I believe, and this it sold for nineteen ninety-nine. So good deal. It's Kathy time. All right, this is the last order from Kathy going out, and it's not on her normal shelf. It's over here on B eleven on Darth thrifter over on ebay shelf so darth thrifter everybody go check him out on ebay i sure would appreciate it and it's one of these uh, what do you call them seal pats i think i believe it's that one right there I had two different ones uh they're basically the same thing but the packaging was a little different so i didn't do multi-quantity on them but thank you again kathy for sending me this stuff it is a demarley I guess is how you say it, seal pat non-stick baking mat. And it is brand new uh, in the packaging, never been used, very awesome. I had no idea what these was. <laughs> Shannon had to explain it. And uh, this one ended up selling for $19.99 plus shipping. So thank you again, Kathy. All right, so that's going to be it for my orders today going out quite a bit, over $500. Now, some of that is shipping. There's a lot of shipping on this. There was a lot of shipping on this because it was an international sale. And I also had another international sale. I don't even remember what it was. can't remember. But it was quite a bit of shipping on it as well. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Everyone remember to go check out 
Janie and her husband over at Grandmama's Vintage Treasures. I sure would appreciate it. Also, if you guys can, I'll uh, go check out my links down below. Go get you some of those record mailers, I'm telling you. I don't know that you can find those record mailers cheaper than what I have them in my Amazon store. I don't know if you can buy them there, but if not, go check out my Amazon store. Most of the supplies I use are listed down below, so go check it out. I sure would appreciate it. Also, I need to get some more American Bubble Boy down it's up there in my loft you guys can see it so i've got to get some of that and uh, get to shipping these items also if you need bookkeeping service make sure you go check out my reseller genie and use code osp15 all capital letters osp the number 15 osp15 for 15 percent off your first month i sure would appreciate it Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you guys. You uh, guys are the best supporters on YouTube by far. I appreciate it. Don't be scared to go buy some old Barbie stuff. Uh, you can make some money on it. Barbie stuff still sales. There's still a following for it, a big time. Had four going out today. That's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Old School Cooker out.